good Tuesday morning. The New York Mets checked off a big one on their checklist last night, clinching a playoff berth, but there are bigger ones to come, bigger ones on the way. We hope for the next one being a division title. Max Scherzer goes the sixth Six perfect innings last night, 68 pitches, and gets taken out of the game, which drives me nuts. I can't imagine thinking back to when I was like 10, 11, 12 years old and someone going, you know, 20 years from now, someone's going to be making $43 million a year. He's going to be pitching a perfect game. He's going to have 68 pitches, and they're going to take him out. But anyway... That's baseball today. Yeah, the Vikings get crushed on Monday Night Football because Kirk Cousins cannot play in prime time. The Bills look like the best team in football. Again, it's going to be a fun Tuesday. We got a playoff team. Good morning, Boomer. How are you? Yeah, good morning, G. And and believe you me, I I feel kind of like you do about taking Scherzer out of the game. But then I was thinking, how many more starts will we have if we go... You know, we go on to win the division, first and foremost, mm-hmm. so we don't have to play in the wild card round. And then you get to the, the division, and then you get to the, the championship series, and then you get to the World Series. If we were able to go that far into it, how how many more starts could he potentially have, including what's rest, mm-hmm. what, the, the rest of the regular season? So Flegelman and I were trying to figure this out. We think it probably somewhere around seven, six, seven, or eight. Okay. In I, that range, it makes in sense that, to in me. That range. So, I understand. I, I would love for him to have a perfect game, and I guess if that were Terry Collins and Johan Santana, they let him throw 170 pitches. <laughs> uh, I, I with, with the the amount of times this guy has gotten hurt this year, you know, with the oblique and all these other different things. You know what? Discretion is the better part of valor right now. It's the end of the season. They they clinch a playoff spot last night. It's one of the reasons why they did celebrate to a certain extent. And Steve Cohen spoke to the team, and Billy Epler spoke to the team, and all that other stuff. And Cohen has got very, very high expectations for the team, as we all do. And it was nice to see that uh, pretty much everybody in the lineup got a hit last night, with the exception of uh, Mark Canna. So uh, it was a good night for the Mets, but they haven't accomplished anything other than getting themselves into the playoffs. Now the real work continues, and they have to continue to win and uh, they have to stay in front of the Braves. That's all there is to it. Yeah, and I love seeing them in the October shirts. I mean, it just gives you that feeling because it really hasn't been a lot of times. I mean, 10 times in their history they have made the playoffs, even fewer times in my lifetime. So to see them wearing the October stuff, taking the pictures, and having a mild celebration last night uh, I thought was cool. But I think they know exactly what you just said, that there are bigger fish to fry in this season. And I knew that Scherzer was going to come out of the game. We all knew he was going to come out of the game. And it's not so much a Mets thing or a Max Scherzer thing. It's a baseball today thing that I've got an issue with because everybody's doing it. It happened with Clayton Kershaw. The Twins just had it happen to them. If you're pitching a perfect game and you get up to your pitch limit, you are out. And I just don't know where it stops. Like, at what point are we going to start seeing position players get taken out of games when there's a three, four, five run lead well, in the we seventh or eighth inning? We see that. No, I'm saying because they're afraid that someone's going to get hit in the hand or, or a hamstring. You don't see it as much as you do with the babying of the pitchers. Uh, you know, That's I, a I, different story. I see a lot of defensive replacements, two or three innings left to go in the game. If a team feels like, you know, they're up by 10 or they're down by 10 or whatever. But I, I don't know. It's just, for me, the most important thing is October baseball. No, but that's and I not wanna... disputable, though. Okay, I understand okay, okay, okay. that. It's not, and nobody is arguing that. All right, well, I, I just, I just, I mean, I, I'm. I like you're arguing something. You're yelling I'm, at me. I'm arguing just the fact that just baseball drives me nuts these days with this stuff. Like, okay, what's, what's the goal for the Yankees this year? The World Series. Okay, great. You got a guy chasing history in Aaron Judge. So like, let's say Aaron Judge, the Yankees are up 15 nothing, and Aaron Judge, who's got a history injury, he's not this year, but a history injury is in his career, and you know he's going to get up one more time when he's chasing 60, 61, 62, but you take him out of the game because you're like, ah, I don't know, maybe he hurts his oblique at some point. Maybe he's up there and gets hit in the face with a pitch. Like, that's not going to happen. No, that's and, not going to happen, I, no. That's my point, but last night, I mean, the perfect game – is chasing history. And just pitchers today in baseball are just so babied. And I just think because of Jacob DeGrom, too, and what we've seen with him recently, and then this. I Listen, I can't. I'm not going to blame Buck. I'm not going to blame Billy Epler. I'm not going to blame Matt, Max Scherzer. It's just baseball today is insane to me. You like, know, think about it. 
43 million dollars a year 68 pitches in a perfect game we're so desensitized by this that like it was normal last night but think about how far we've come i know i know i know it's insane i, I wouldn't i wouldn't get all worked up over it but i i will say this yeah you know maybe maybe just maybe the uh the mets or the yankees should hire brian dayball because <laughs> he ain't sensitive. He's not Mr. No. Sensitive on the sideline. And, I would agree with that. And I went yes. back and looked at that game, and I went back to watch watch him on the sideline and everything. He's anything but. Uh, uh, he needs maybe sensitivity training in this day and age. <laughs> I don't hope know. Not. Let's which, hope I, not. which I do love. I mean, and I yeah. think most Giant fans love it right now. Um, but I, I kind of I, I understand the frustration, all that stuff. I, you'd you love know, to Buck see it. hates it. You know, Buck is going to do it, and that's the way it is today. But you know, deep down, he hates that. Of course, he does. He hates that because he's seen it all. He's an old time baseball guy. He hates it. And I, I was surprised because Scherzer's someone I feel like can bulldog his way through anything. And like, if he wanted to continue, maybe they would. But, let I, but him continue I need him to inning. bulldog his way through the playoffs. Yeah, is I what know, I need. but you can't guarantee that. You know, I, I don't. Know. Hey, just 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 get him to the playoff. Get. Get this team to the playoffs, winning the division. That's the yeah, most important thing right now. But it's 68 pitches. I don't like, care. You know, then next time he comes out, he throws 80 pitches. This you know, is whatever. a guy who threw 80 pitches in, like, his first spring training start. Remember that? It like, was crazy. I mean, but he can't throw more than 68 last night. I, I, it's not yeah. his fault. You know, they had, a, they had a number, and they felt like they wanted to make sure they hit that number and maybe even under that number. They probably had, like, a 75 number for him. Yeah, I, I know. And they also wanted to get Tyler McGill into the game. They wanted to get him some work. And, you know, it probably felt safe putting him in, you know, and then he gives up two runs, but um, but they wanted to get him out there. There's a lot of things that are going on right now that are they're trying to set themselves up for, sure. uh, for no, a deep October I, run is what they're trying to do. And I got do. no issue with that. And, and last night was a, a way more of a positive. It was a great night. It was an awesome night. Scherzer was a lot of fun to watch. Uh, the fact that they clinched was great. It's just, it's just a, it's a baseball thing that annoys me, especially when you start talking and comparing it to other sports, too. Like, you know, I mean, all of this stuff, like, you know, the resting of the NBA players that we see and no back-to-backs and all these stupid things that go on when these guys are getting these guaranteed contracts. You know, meanwhile, in the NFL, you got, like, three guaranteed contracts out there. One of them is to a sexual predator, and you got guys breaking ankles. You got another guy getting taken off the field in an ambulance last night. Nobody's babying these guys. Not, well, you can't. Well, the game doesn't allow you to be babied. But you know what I'm saying? But that's the thing. It's like... Baseball, you shouldn't be allowed to be baby because it's the least violent of all the sports. So it's like yeah, but they also play the most games. They play the most games and they have the most injuries and the no, soft tissue injuries. I, These baseball I, I, players I, I, are so I, I, soft. I, I, all right, hold, all right, hold on. Just hold They're on. Like for me one. on the soft. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Listen, and I'm well, not getting paid forty three million dollars a year. I, I, we're not, you know, I playing anymore either. So like when we when we do when we did play softball, especially the first game, mm-hmm. like you busted it out of that out of that batter's and box, and I pulled a hamstring, right? And you wanted it like in the worst way. So they that's how they play every single game. You know, every single game is full on. Well, unless of course you're Glaber Torres running the first base, <laughs> but uh, you know, but most most players play full on, mm-hmm. and there are. Um, opportunities for oblique pulls and hamstring pulls and Achilles uh, stretches yeah, yeah. and things of that nature. And we've all been down that road, and we've, we've seen it. And it's a long season, man. And you have to understand, playing at a high level, like Scherzer was playing last night, I mean, he was at a really, really high level. Yeah, but did, and he was he was bringing it, and he was. But he every almost, pitch he brought it last night. I mean, did it, it seem like he was laboring no, at all? No, it didn't. But every <laughs> pitch he was bringing it. That's what he does that. every start. And so does Degrom, and 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 Degrom is so good that nobody can hit him. So he has to throw 101 pitches after six innings <laughs> because he's striking everybody out. Yeah, I mean, let's as long as these guys are fully stretched out and ready to go in the postseason, then I guess it doesn't matter. You but watch, you watch. You, 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 we're watching I don't want to hear about a pitch count in a in a game no, seven of not an gonna, NLCS. I'll tell you that much. You're not going to be hearing about that. But, you know, you watch. We just watched about, what, six or seven pitches that Max Scherzer threw last night on CBS Sports Network. Mm-hmm. You could see how he is into every pitch. His body's into every pitch. He's all, I mean, he is all in nonstop. No, yeah. I'm, Look, I would love to see a, a, a perfect game, but you know what? I don't give a crap. What I want is like, even like when Johan Santana got the no hitter. Yeah, it's the I, I could 
I couldn't care less. See, I, that's something I wanted to see. I, 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 like, I know we disagreed on that, but I, that's something I wanted to see as a Mets fan because it had never happened in oh, their history. God, I don't really and care. a perfect game, but a perfect game is another one of those things. I, I would love to see it. It's, it's too bad that this was the situation. I just wanted them to win, and I just want the pitchers to be healthy, and I want them ready to go for October. That's the key. So he may have, what, two more starts in the regular season? Mm hmm. Right? And now it's Carrasco's turn tonight. Remember, I told you last week, okay. Now the Mets starting five are all healthy. They're all in line yep. to finish this season off strong. And uh, and and they've done that. They did that through the Pirate Series. And now they're starting that with the Brewers Series. Absolutely. And you'd love to see that this rotation is churning. And this is exactly what you wanted. Beginning of the season, at some point you get DeGrom back. You're going to have DeGrom and Scherzer at the top of that rotation. You get anything out of these other guys. Look what Bassett has given you. So, yeah, they are in a great spot. Uh, still, though, you would like them to have a little bit more of a cushion with the Braves who continue to win. But I still believe because the Mets have led this division for so long and every time the Braves get close and they surpass them the one time, they come back and take it back. So I expect that to be the case in these last couple of weeks of the season. And, oh, by the way, head-to-head, -head, they've beaten the Braves um, a lot this year. You know year. why? You know why? Because the Braves are a home-run hitting team. Mm -hmm. You know, the Mets aren't a home run hitting team. The Mets are a contact team. The Mets are take a lot of pitches team. Yeah. And when they're winning, they take pitches. Nimmo has long at bats. Uh, you know, every now and again, uh, you'll get a home run from Lindor or you'll get a home run uh, from uh, from Pete. So uh, they, they got to get Marte back now. That's the next thing. Absolutely. Marte is the next thing. And, you know, they'll be ready to go just like the Yankees. You know, they'll, they'll get Severino back. You know, they'll get Chapman back. They'll they'll start getting the reinforcements back. And then we'll see the real teams. Hopefully, everybody stays healthy. And we'll see the real teams going into October. That That's what we all want as fans around here. Yeah, I think that we will. I mean, with the exception of a player here or there, I, I do think that we will. And we'll get the Yankees back in action at home against the Pirates with Aaron Judge sitting on 59 home runs. So every one from here on out is going to mean something. All right, so let me ask you a question. So Friday night's game mm -hmm. is what, on Apple Plus? Apple TV? I Apple think. TV, whatever. Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So how about they sit out Aaron Judge that game? <laughs> no way. Absolutely no way. Can Randy Levine put his foot down and say, look, man, we're, we're putting it on Yes. <laughs> I mean, he is, he he does, he's like the executive chairman of Yes or something like that, as, yeah. as well as his duties for the Yankees. It is, it is Friday's game. So, right. I mean, I mean maybe Thursdays, by the way, Thursday, so this is, we went over this the other They're day. Fox, that's Fox, but at least that's Channel 5. Right, so Thursday is, so Yes is not, I mean, has a real good chance of not getting these games because Thursday is Fox, Friday is Apple TV Plus, and Sunday is Sunday Night Baseball on ESPN. So, yes, is got, I mean, unless this happens, you know, against Toronto. So, so, yes, has got, you know, these games against the Pirates and then three against, well, so they got four the, again. They got these two against the Pirates. Right. They've got Saturday against the Red Sox. Then the rest of the way, it's going to be yes. So they have to avoid these All right, so it's six, The next, the next six games are the Pirates and Red Sox. Mm -hmm. And out of those six games, uh, three are on Yes. One yep. Red Sox game and two Pirate games. That is correct. Yep. All right. And then you have the three uh, at the Blue Jays, the three versus the Orioles, and then four at the Rangers, mm -hmm. which is weird because of the uh, the, the workage, uh, work stoppage. Right. Yeah. So, all right. So, here we go. Maybe this is it. Yeah. This I, is it. I was uh, listening to the warm-up show, and these guys were talking about some of the secondary market tickets. in Our, the, our warm-up show? Our warm-up show, our, yeah. Our, okay. Our, the secondary market tickets out there that are being sold in the sections where Aaron Judge tends to hit home runs. Yes. Some of them are $900, $1,000, because they're sitting out there waiting. They'll so is that starting their, tonight? They're fishnets. Yeah, of course starting tonight. I mean, you catch 60, that's a big deal. Right. 60 is everyone from here on out is going to be a big deal. 60, 61, 62, and beyond, they're all going to be big deals. You know, the kind of year he's had, he's doing it tonight. I don't know, he's going to hit three home runs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you. Man, that would be something. I wouldn't be surprised if it happens in the next two days because the Pirates are so bad and their pitching is so bad. Uh, so. You know, but he he is just – everything about him this year has been spot on. Everything. Yep. There, and, he hasn't missed a beat in anything. Plays in almost all the games. He's got 127 RBIs. He's scored 122 runs. He's got 59 home runs. 
He's one uh, percentage point behind in the batting race. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. I mean, this is this has been a season for the ages for him, and he is going to finish it off strong.